Hi, I'm Shane Warner and I'm loving Dubai. Well, in cricket, there's plenty of good nicknames. Um, the ones I could say for the camera, uh, there was a funny one actually, uh, one of my closest friends in the game called Merv Hughes. He had a huge moustache, big fast bowl, a wonderful character in the game. His first ever game at the Adelaide Oval, they put up on the scoreboard, there was an old scoreboard, so they had to write the names down, and they put M. Hill. So instead of M. Hughes, they put M. Hill on the board. So coming on the bowl for his first, there was M. Hill, Merv Hill. And so he looked up there, so his nickname became Hilly, which, you know, is not one of the best nicknames, but it was quite funny for a, a, such a big character like he was, um, for them to mess his name up. It was, it was just a, a nickname that stuck straight away. And the best nicknames always stick straight away. And generally the person doesn't like them. The best bloke in cricket. Oh, very hard to single out one. Um, Brendan McCullum from New Zealand is very tough to go past. I think he's always been a, a terrific role model spokesperson for the game. Uh, I think Joss Butler is another one from England. It's been a, a great spokesperson and great person for the game of cricket. I think also Virat Kohli from India, given it's there's so much emphasis on T20 cricket, on one day cricket and everything, that test cricket is still a very important part of the game and tradition of the game of cricket. And Virat Kohli has come out and said it's the most important part. So if we've got India and the biggest cricketer on the planet saying that, then I think it's gonna help all three forms of the game. So that's pretty tough to split those three. I got started in cricket, I think, at a pretty young age, mainly because all my friends were playing. Uh, and where, I, where I'm from in Victoria and Australia, everyone played cricket in the summer and Australian rules football in the winter. So I just played with my friends, but I'm very grateful to all my friends back then that I got involved in cricket. Our T20's uh, form of the game has been fantastic for the global game of cricket. Um, I think it's helped make cricket the second biggest sport in the world. It just got voted the second biggest. And I think T20 cricket has actually played a huge part in that. I think it's great to see so many families, so many children, and so many people going. And domestic game, we've had IPL is the biggest T20 format uh, or tournament in the world. But for it, to give it some context, in, in Australia, a big bash game, which is the equivalent, we have a big bash competition, which is equivalent to the IPL, a T20 competition. That 85,000 people at a domestic game, uh, domestic cricketers in the Big Bash playing T20. So it really has kicked off the T20 game and I think it's rubbing off on all the other formats to make them more interesting as well. I could get under most people's skin, which I liked, um, but I think the two best players in my era of playing would be Brian Lara and Sachin Tendulkar. They were the two best batsmen uh, of my era that I played. Um, we had some great battles over the years. Unfortunately, I'd probably have to say they both won our battles, um, but it was still great fun. Yeah, I think it's great to see the spin bowlers um, making a comeback in T20 cricket. I think when it first started T20 cricket, a lot of people thought it was going to be the death of the spin bowlers. But I think nine out of the top 10 uh, bowlers in T20 cricket in the world, nine of them are spinners. Probably the best you'd have to say would be Rashid Khan from Afghanistan. You know, it wasn't that... <laughs> You would never think you'd say the best spinner in the world at the moment in T20 cricket is from Afghanistan. Um, so it just shows you this game, how big it's become. I have to say Rashid Khan's probably number one. <laughs> well, there's not too many I can repeat on camera about the best ones I've heard. There's two that probably stand out. One, um, there was a batsman from England called Alex Tudor and he was a fast bowler. He was batting and a friend of mine, Mark Wall, was fielding next to me in the slips and he was sledging Alex Tudor from England. And after a few overs, Alex Tudor had enough. And Mark Waugh had a brother called Steve Waugh, who arguably was a better batsman. And after Mark Waugh was sledging him, he turned around after a few overs, had enough, and he said, listen, Mark, at least I'm the best player in my family. So that was quite a good one. Um, the second one, actually, I'm pretty proud of myself because I was watching, we're playing uh, in an Ashes Test match in Adelaide, and I was watching American Pie the night before the last day. And there was a person, a character in American Pie called the Shermanator. And, no man. and one of the cricketers that played for England, a guy called Ian Bell, we thought looked like the Shermanator. So the next day when we were playing this, you know, on the last day, he was batting and I walked past him when I was bowling and I said, um, what are you looking at, Shermanator? And he said, I've been called worse. And I said, no, you haven't. And that I said it loud enough just that everybody heard. 
and it sort of stuck. So even his teammates started calling him the Shermanator. So I was pretty proud of that one too. Um, the best roommates were generally the ones that f fell asleep early, but unfortunately there wasn't too many of them in the times I played. Once again, I'll have to go back to Merv Hughes because Merv liked to stay up um, and have a few drinks and he would sweat profusely and he would generally like a big cuddle before he went to bed. So he'd come back to your room and want a big cuddle with his big moustache that was real prickly and you'd be in bed trying to sleep. And he would be like, come on, give us a cuddle. It's time for bed. I'm missing my wife. I'd say, Merv, go to bed. So I think he was just a pest. So I think I'd have to say Merv Hughes was my worst roommate. My best roommate was probably Mark War. I ruined with him a lot of times and him and I used to have a lot of fun. Full stop. <laughs> if I never played cricket, it's a very good question and I'm not sure I can answer it because I really don't know. Um, all I can say is that I delivered beds for a 40 winks driving a big truck. Uh, I delivered pizzas for a for Martinello's, a local pizza shop. I worked in a factory making signet rings. So they're my three jobs and I wasn't great at either of them or I, all of them. What I would love to have been was an AFL Australian rules footballer or a professional golfer but I wasn't good enough at those either. So what would I have done? I just don't know. I'd like to think I'm intelligent and smart enough and determined enough that I would have found something that I would have been good at because I believe everyone is good at something. You just have to find out what you're good at. I was lucky enough I was pretty good at cricket. Outside, well, I don't play cricket anymore, so I can't say myself. Uh, <laughs> uh, the best dressed modern day cricketer, probably Virat Kohli. I think he always looks sharp every time I've seen him wherever we go. I think Virat Kohli would have to be the smartest dressed cricketer. Uh, the IPL in Dubai, I, it's been fantastic. I think Dubai is such a wonderful city. Um, I've experienced it for a long period of time. I've been coming here since the early 90s. I've seen the development of Dubai. It's pretty close to one of the biggest hubs in the world now, but I think in 10 years time, it will be the biggest hub in the world. I think it's such a great location. I think everyone here, the, the hotels, the, the food, everything is absolutely outstanding. So. And it's a great place to come for a holiday now too, where before it was just generally work. Uh, you come and then you leave, but um, now it's a, a great holiday destination. It's a great place for business, sport. Um, there's so many opportunities, whether it's arts, cars, you can go on for whatever else you want to, what you're into, but it's just a wonderful place. Love it. I've been lucky enough I played in the Australian cricket team, which was arguably one of the greatest teams of all time. And I played with that for a long time. But I still think my favorite moment that I had ever in cricket was when I first walked out in my first test match at 21 or 22 years of age. I looked up on the scoreboard and it said, congratulations Shane Warne, you're the 350th test cricketer to play for Australia. And I realised that's not a lot of people in over, you know, 150 years, it's not a lot of people that have played cricket and had that opportunity. So I was very grateful for my opportunity, I was grateful for my chance and I knew if I never played again, at least I played one test match and they can't take that away from me. Um, so I, I'd say that would probably have to be one of my favourite moments.